or what you call that beverly when they get them evicted, condemn the building. So the poor folks have to get out. But it's all a plan. Right. If you think I'm lying, ride up Linda, uh, Ballinger Road, across from Coolidge School, up from McLaren. They down. They, they getting ready to take them down because they finna develop, guess where? A, 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 a apartment up there at, at the foot of McLaren. But remember, we still drinking this water. Right. We live in like a third world nation. We have to keep the people that's got our best interests at heart. That's really got our best interests at heart. Especially when I say us, not the well to do us. All black folks is not poor. God graced some people to have a compassion for poor folks. The poor will always be among you. You're a unique individual if you care about poor folks, not just yourself. It don't matter where you live. You could be in Grand Blank and care about people. You could be in, it's people all over the world looking at this cast, broadcast. If you think I'm lying, people all over the country gave money to Flint, and Flint ain't no better than it was right now than the day they gave it to us. Can y'all understand what I'm telling you? We all we got. This is the election season. If we don't educate ourselves, y'all, it's done. Now, you got a Scott Kincaid running against Mary Cam Weaver when it was supposed to be an Arthur Woodson. Didn't have to do it all by itself. Where was Scott Kincaid? He, I didn't see him never. He wasn't. He was hiding in the background, waiting on the opportunity. Waiting Just on the opportunity. Snake. Something got to give, y'all. Something got to give. And only hope we got is knowledge. I, I'm not here to down him at what he's doing. Because, yes, he got a good agenda. Guess what it is? Development downtown. I heard Pastor Flynn say it plain as I ever could say it. More eloquent than I ever could say it this morning. On another station. They use us to sell us out. That's what they do. How in the world are you going to call a mayor that's doing so much? And I, I was around Mayor Cam we released. I was around her just, every day just about. I ain't never seen no lady so humble to whoever come around her. Humble. Ain't no way in the world you supposed to even have that mess over that lady's head. Trying hard as she can. Who called the emergency. <clears throat> but she's so down to earth to regular people. And the lies that's floating over TV talking about the mayor is safe. How about you? Right. Chief Johnson in, in a, 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 it was a, whatever you call it, the meeting yesterday inside the intelligence center. He stepped over and he also went in and said, look, I got to speak to this lie that's going around that he had four or five officers doing detail for the mayor. At most, all she had was one. That's all she had. One. And he said, if that one couldn't make it, he would go. Now, how disrespectful. The chief officer of our city and a lady don't have no res no kind of protection. What kind of respect is that? None. But yet, the chief said, from Woodrow Stanley all the way back, uh, Wilden and all of them had four or five people doing detail around them. Right. See how we, 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 we got to quit settling. We got to quit selling, y'all. We got to quit selling. You got people like A.C. Dumas and them telling you, but we so used to not hearing what people say. My job is not to add. Look, my job is to tell you the truth so you can, I can sit back and, and go to bed at night because I know I gave it all I got to tell them without me spinning it. I see Brenda Boyd all day long. I see Derry. I, I see Wyness. I see all of y'all sharing stuff, sharing stuff. But the problem is, a lot of people that's doing the talking is not here involved with it. So they're on the outskirts speaking for on the inside. So they use a Donna Poplar, they use a Jackie Poplar, but they don't tell the whole story. They don't tell the whole story. Jackie Poplar, Donna Poplar, and them is all 100% bought by and paid by. Shh, don't say nothing. Just as long as you keep your money. Keep your seat. But look how we look. Yesterday we seen on, on TV, and it's ironic. 
that the gas station right there on Myrtle and Sag, uh, Myrtle and Cloud Road, they was pumping some water, some something going down in a sump pump. And here she go, uh, uh, all over the TV. Now watch this. But did you notice how trifling it was right then? And that's right down the street from my house. Yeah, all the trash. And talking about all of this got Raul and all of them because it's campaign season. That's what it is. Ain't no campaign to me. If they dumping, I'm going to have the power to say, hey, if they dumping at your house, I'm going to have the power to say, what's your address? See if 20 minutes Maurice don't be by there. There you go. We do it all See if 15 minutes. When they say, Maurice, who are you? Man, I want to say, ma'am, if you don't know, ain't no need me trying to tell you. I've been here 50 years playing blues and doing everything I can to make to take some of the stress off of grown folks. Never sold out to kids. Don't mean I don't like them, but grown folks need something that's always grown. Maurice Davis' name always been tied to grown folks and always will be. Because when the kid come to me, they come for knowledge. They don't come for me to be one of them acting like I'm so hip. I'm not a kid. That's the problem. Everybody want to be a kid. Now, the kids have no direction. Where's the grown folks? And wonder why the kids don't know. Maurice, I'm vote every one of them. They voting for me. Bless their heart. Am I lying? No. I don't care where I go. Maurice, I'm voting for you. I'm in Flint Township. I'm voting for you. mean I can't vote for you? I just shake my head. And they sincere. Right. Because they don't know. Let me tell you something. My people are going to be destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Let it go on record. We ain't playing. I, and y'all that's listening, I ain't. I'm just telling y'all so you can accurately tell somebody else. That north side they want to shut down. Jackie Poplar part of it. Yes, she is. They just trying to overthrow what Pastor Flynn trying his best to do to help build us. 250 people co-op on their own store. Come on now. We get to own something. Like you say, we ain't got nothing. When I started doing hair, it was Dave's haircut. I could Jaffa's hair. I could name all of them. And you used to have to have license to buy product. But now, if you black, go to it. I don't care if you go to Sally's anywhere. You ain't got to show license. They had nurse tell me black products is not professional. And right today, go buy a, a white folks perm. You had to show your license. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not lying. I almost uh, got thrown out the store that day. You're going to tell me motions by a four-pound jug with the sodium hydroxide is not professional. But this perm here in this little box, and, and by the way, they stuff ain't number three or four dollars. Right. I stuff 19 to 20, 25 dollars. Right. You're right. Oh, it's so much truth in me, man. I, I can't wait. I'm so frustrated kids ain't making no money. They ask me all the time, Maurice, I'm frustrated. I can't get a job. I hope I get a job. And they working for $5, $15. How in the world are you going to pay a house, no car, no? And then they refused to lower the insurance just yesterday. Council got a job. Council got a job. But I just hope people quit buying these lies these folks selling. Tuesday is the last day of these lies they selling. That's right. When they come out of my mouth, it's a reason. Eric is crazy. Eric is crazy. Only thing Eric crazy about is his folks. Because all of us got that combination. If they get it right, I'm cussing you out. And so are you. If you're passionate enough about something, you're going to stand up for it. That's right. If you're passionate, you ain't passionate if you can't stand up for it or get mad about it. Right. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. This ain't about a popularity contest. No, it's not. No, this is about truth. And I know with all I know, you speak truth, it's going to cut through. Because it ain't, it ain't tr talking political and learning the language and the lingo, that ain't nothing. No, it's not. That ain't nothing. People living right now, I could tell you and I, I don't want to say it, but when I ride by people with two or three kids in the house, and they went to got a hole in it that big, boards on the door, no curtain, just no li Lord. No lights. No lights. <sighs> so sad. So sad. Right? And, and we up here acting like we somebody big. Right. 
Don't know that could be you. That's right. But that's somebody grandkids. That's somebody when I see little kids, I'm talking about two and three, four years old. Come right. on now. You're right. That's why I'm sitting here. Right. I'm not sitting here to... I, nobody should live like that. No, but where right. I'm seeing... 80-year-old lady, Beverly come back trying to describe how this lady trying to make it up a step holding her grandbaby. And she 80 what? Six. 86 years old. It's a shame. That's why I'm sitting here. I'm not sitting here. I'm talking about your granny while I'm sitting here. Your grandkids is why I'm sitting here. This is not a Maurice thing. Oh, that's sad. You think I'm going to sit here and four years later, y'all talking about me like a dog? Try it. That's right. Only way nothing get done, you're going to know it couldn't get done. Y'all listen to me on this, this broadcast, and I'm hoping all over the world. Because they got it planned. This is an experiment. When they did this water, it was poor black folks and poor white folks. Right. It, 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 it's an economic, uh, economic economical divide. You know where your economy Poor folks. That's why we, we rate it as the poorest city of the nation. Experiment. Let's see what happens. Right. And they said it's clear now. They didn't heal the pipes. Right. The Bible said, not my reason. You can't put new wine in old wine skins. You can't do it. You can't do it. But we ain't worth it. Just patch it up. Let them die a slow death. You give them, they got a little metal kit. You got Hurley Hospital. You got McLaren and in Genesis, let them die. It ain't right, y'all. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. If you don't stand up for you, at least stand up for these kids. If you can't get a job, how where are your kid gonna get one? Right. right. And I mean, you done been to, a lot of y'all done been to college with degrees. Can't get a job. Can't. Now, how in the world, five or ten years from now, kid, unless we turn this around where we own something, you will never have nothing working for somebody else. Write it down. Marie said it. Only thing you're going to do is just like picking cotton. This is the same mentality, plantation of the plant, General Motors plant, and the plantation down in Jackson and Meridian and, and Gulfport, Mississippi, picking cotton. It's the same thing as now. Because all you do is make enough to make it to the next day or the next week. You pay your house note, but the master used to feed you and house you. But now you can house and feed yourself, and you never have a dollar ahead until you start owning your own businesses. And that's what we got to do. Once we, the mayor get all of this stuff situated, all of this detrimental water poisoning stuff situated, we got to go to economic growth. We got to start owning our own businesses again. We used to own every store on the north side, east, west, and south side. Who's saying that? Nobody. Because they don't want you. Kincaid and them, all they want to do, look what they're doing. Building a, 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 not only a Hilton Hotel, now they're going to start them, a luxury apartment. One girl said, oh, I can't wait to, to put in an application. Girl, it ain't for you. Why do you think they're building in downtown? It ain't for you. They know your income. I'm not scripting nothing. I'm not scripting nothing. And then they got nerves enough. They got nerves enough. And this master plan, and this master plan for a sustainable flip. Bebby, I want you to read right here. I'm going to have you just... I'm going to just have her to read the forward of the master plan. I want you to read, uh, uh, just read, just start at, the, start at the beginning. And trust me, this is a 700-page document, and this is just a brochure of it. Just, just start at the forward, just read it. Okay, Flint is a city poised and ready for transformation. Transformation, read it. A city committed to reinventing itself by building upon its rich history, strong character, and enduring work ethic. A city eager to once again stand as a symbol to the nation as to what 
hard work, ingenuity, as did ingenuity and commitment can achieve. Flint is a city dedicated to forging innovation and creativity into a city of new opportunity, vitality, and livability. Keep reading. The last half century has been hard on Flint. Mm, mm, mm. A 50% population decrease, thousands of vacant structures, a decimated local economy, and a fragmented development pattern have left the city of Flint bruised and battered version of its former self. Mm-hmm. Keep going. But while disconnected neighbors, hmm. contaminated industrial sites, wow, and neglected facilities are now too common, the seeds for reinvention have already begun to emerge. The seeds of reinvention keep going. Community groups and residents eliminating blight lot by lot, churches leading community gardening into its into initiatives, local organizations promoting change through community activities, world class cultural and education facilities, and the development of the city's first master plan in more than 30, 50 years. Imagine Flint. All right. Now, do that seem like anything on the north side you just read? No. Where they got such a hope, such a flourishing outlook on Flint. No. I see couches dumped every day. I see weeded up. I see burnt out houses, wide open, unsafe structures. I see everything that no human being deserves to have in the 21st century, and they got nothing to talk about blight. And we see a historic school with all the windows taken out. Boarded, half boarded up. Garbage all around the school. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Listen. They change. They change the charter. I don't know if y'all, if y'all know what that means. They change the charter. Gentrification is hit Flint, Michigan. I'm going to repeat, gentrification, write this, document this, share this till you get tired. Please keep the video. Gentrification hit Flint, Michigan. Mary Cam Weaver's in the way of it. Dr. Reginald Flynn over there at False Avenue and the Eagle's Nest is in the way of it. Because why? They want us to say, wait a minute, we're keeping what we got. If they want what you got, they got to buy it or pay you for it instead of put you out. Now, let me explain that thing to you. It's so scary how accurate I be. The, ma- the, the master plan is sitting there. That's a 15 to 20 year document. Election time is coming. I got to, I owe it to y'all. I owe it to you. I owe it to you. I owe it to you. What Beverly was reading was Civic Park. I owe it to you. Please share this. Please share this. I owe it to you. And I Anybody call me a liar. This says, Civic Park neighborhood, y'all read it for yourself. Do that say demolition map? Civic Park neighborhood demolition. Now, you can put your side of town, they got a map for you too. They got a map for you too. It's by location. I deal with planning. I'm down there. I take my case out of my book. We had a case just, I thought I, I took it out of my book. We had a case just Thursday. Civic Park demolition map. The red houses went down two years ago in Civic Park. The red houses went down. This is Civic Park. See that round horseshoe? That's Civic Park School, that beige horseshoe. I got the building on in the front of it. I want you to know I'm not playing games with you. That's why I'm sitting here mad as I could be. Now, after that, red, the blue, and I'm on Beverly to read what, see that, y'all see blue on this map? Beverly, 
What do blue say on this map? Right there. There you go, right there. I want you to read it for me. Blue says Land Bank and retains historic integrity. Land Bank retains historic, historic integrity. Integrity. That means the property, the blue houses, was good last year. Guess what? Them houses came down earlier at the beginning of the year. They're already down. They're already down. They're already down. Now, just know I'm talking about the whole north side. I'm talking about the whole north side. This is imperative. Because people, we can no longer function off emotion. No, no. We're going to have to function off knowledge. We're going to have to function off knowledge. We're going to have to function off knowledge. Beverly, I need my list, and I think I see it. I need my list, and I see it. And, and have me put that stuff back in order when I'm done. Okay. Now, I showed you the list. I showed y'all this last week. There's 200 more houses finna come down. Just know, I'm talking about just Civic Park. All it, I want you to see something. I'm going to fold it. I want you to see this. See where it says Civic Park? Civic Park neighborhood. See that? See where it says candidate for what? Demo. Candidate for demo. Am I making this stuff up? Now, let's see how many houses we got candidate for demo. This is already funded. We already had the meeting on this. This is funded. All of these is coming down this year. It's supposed to be by 2017. All of these. See where it says Genesee County Land Bank? Civic Park. I want y'all to know what gentrification looked like. Find this on another website. All this coming down. And there's more to come. And that's in one little area. That's one little area. Now, how many houses are going to be left? I wait on you to answer. I wait on you to answer. I'm not running for Civic Park to play games. I own business, and it took me years to pay for all that mess over there. I don't know nobody. I don't owe nobody nothing but to love them in taxes. And so do other people. But the problem, most people over there now don't retire. They stuck. They didn't expect their property value to drop to nothing with them beautiful brick homes Johnny and them got. Stanley and them got gorgeous homes. Clacking them beautiful homes. And the water brought everybody property value down. Yes, it did. It ain't no game, y'all. But notice, the development is downtown. If you think about ride down through the now, what's ironic? Civic Park School, like Beverly say, it caught five fires. I know about four to five times, mm -hmm. four to five times, four to five times. Look here, look here. Right down on Dupont and Dayton, they rendering a brand new picture of Civic Park School as we speak. They're rendering a brand new picture of Civic Park School as we speak. And when I'm saying Civic Park, know this. I'm talking about the North End because I'm going somewhere this morning. This is election season. Some people been bought and paid for. And what is the bought and paid for? To deceive and take what you got that you done worked all your life for. And don't think you're safe somewhere else because guess what? Gentrification is according to you. Write this down. Income. So I could live in, in in Grand Blank. I could live in Owasso. But all I had to do is raise it over my income. I'm out of there. So thank you, safe, if you want to. There is no big eyes on the use. The Bible say perilous time shall come. God know what he's talking about. If you want to be blessed, be a blessing. We got to get it. We got to get it. We got to get it. We became a godless nation. Now devil imps is, is, is having a heyday. Their time is short. 
We got pastors. I, I talked to plenty in Wallace Hill, uh, Pastor Harris. I talked to every one of them is on board trying to help us. Jerry over at Prayer Garden, I talked to every one of them trying to help us. Every one of them trying to help us. I don't play games. The ones trying to hurt you, I'm going to tell you they're trying to hurt you. Why gain the whole world to lose your soul? It ain't worth it. Why gain a council seat just to, to, to turn against God's people? It ain't worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. Win or lose, I'm going to feel good either way because now I expose the devil. I expose the devil. Derek, all of y'all, y'all try it. We expose the devil. We expose the devil. Cam Weaver trying with all her might. That's why the pastor's behind her. But notice this. Since it, I'm race baiting, where's all the white pastors behind her? Uh oh. Where's all the white pastors? Don't throw a rock and hide your hand, act like you fun me, and then you shamed of me. That's right. Be shamed of me, I'll be shamed of you. That's what my God says. That's right. Uh, 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 Shelton Neely, state rep, state, Shelton Neely. When you wanted somebody to vote for you, you want somebody to stand up with you. That's right. When somebody needs you, you stand up strong for them. You do. I'm not a fair weather friend. Preach. For God I live, for God I die. That's so right. should you. You got that right. You don't get blessed and all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm a, a state rep. I'm not no councilman. I'm no I'm the ambassador for you. You the one made me. Uh, keep it. When somebody needs you, they need you. The disciples was with Christ. And Christ told, I bet you for the, the, the root. Well, we got a we got a few technical issues. Beverly, talk on that one for me. We got a few technical issues, y'all. We got a few technical issues, and we're trying to get them worked out right now. We're trying to get it worked out for y'all. Yeah, we back. Y'all, like I said, y'all can join back. Y'all, this is the other half of the video. I don't know what's going on with our connection this morning, but. It'll be all right. Yep, it'll be all right. But like I said, y'all, we're in a world of trouble. We're in a world, we're in a world of, trouble. of trouble. And 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 talking about the races. Show Get on up to your mic, though. Show them that, that, fl show them that flyer that, that came in the mail, Scott Kincaid. Which one, though? That he sent me for the $1,000. Oh, right, 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 right. And people say we racist. I'm telling y'all, when they come across the bridge... Don't let them bamboozle you. They're coming across the bridge because they can't win without your support. Stand up and be strong. Your mayor was strong for you. Okay, I'm race baiting. Like Beverly said, this came in our mail. <clears throat> Look who receiving the, the mail from who? Scott Kincaid. He know who he need. He don't have to, 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 to do one on, 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 on in the no. ninth ward, whoever no. ward he in. No. He ain't got to worry about the seventh, eighth ward and all that. No. He ain't got to worry about that. No. Pay attention. It's a black lady, not a family, but a black lady. That's right. They know the black families is towed down. So they know the head of the house in the black community is us. Notice that. But here go the ironic part. Handing her a check for $1,000. Oh, we we good for a handout. He could buy us for a thousand dollars. Let me let me see that. Now this this says Scott Kincaid wants to give you your money back. Yeah. Now, the money he's trying to or saying that he might get, give you. I need you in your mic. I mean, I mean like, you gotta. The money that he's saying that he might give you back. It's gonna be the money from the lawsuit that we, the city of Flint residents, will be paying for. So he's not giving you nothing. And he's and it and it doesn't say it's a guarantee, but it's just a ploy. Anybody know that, Beverly? I know, but I'm just saying. Where have you been all this time? 
Where have you been, Scott Kincaid, all this time? And Jackie Poplar, you should be ashamed of yourself supporting such a person as a Scott Kincaid. All of you guys sitting down there on the city council supposed to be supporting the mayor. You're sitting there all this time fighting against the mayor, and now here you want to rear your head like you are so for the people of the city of Flint, but you are not. Like I said before, take a look around you people in the city of Flint. Look at the condition of your neighborhoods. Jackie Poplar been down there 12 years. Look at the second ward. It looks like a war zone. I would be embarrassed to say that this is my ward. I've been there 12 years. Look what I've given you now. Put me back in. I want to give you some more of what you're looking at. Open your eyes, people. Look around you. You can see. They're not for us. They're for their own self. Scott Kincaid, 30 years? Is this how this is supposed to look? And have i tell you what, well, go look at his ward, Scott Kincaid, Atherton Terrace. Go look down on No, the- you showed me where they said, uh, one of them said Atherton said Atherton Terrace is what? Hopeless. There you go. And that's the write-in candidate. It's Shelley. supposed to be hopeless. He said those people over there are hopeless. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? You're no. hopeless too. Your thoughts are hopeless. Why are you running? You're supposed to be running to help the people of the city of Flint. Not to just say we're hopeless. That's why we're in the water situation. That's the same thing. Because we're black and we're poor. We're white and we're poor. So let them die. They're hopeless. But it's a shame. But I'm knocking on Jackie Poplar's head because she's over the second ward where I live, where Maurice Davis is a candidate for. It's time for change. And why is It's time for change. Why not say Jackie fixed up the park? Jackie didn't fix up no park. We went to a meeting. We went to a meeting with the City of Flint Planning Department and Genesee County Beautiful. Keep Genesee County Beautiful the one doing the park. And Jackie ain't fixed up no park. Ain't got nothing to do with none of them. She ain't fixed up no park. She might have bought some more hats, but she haven't fixed up no park. That has nothing to do with her. It just happens to be down the street from her house. But it's a low-down, dirty shame. You put 70... Even with the city of Flint planning department and the county. Yes, it's nice to have good things, but to take 70 plus thousand dollars and put it in a park and right next to the park somebody's house needs rehabbing? Come on now. They got to have us out of here. Click the light switch. Help the people. Help the people. Well. It's time for change. And Scott Kincaid, go back across the bridge. Go back across the bridge. Well, he he across the bridge. He doesn't need to make sure he can keep that seat to keep it moving. Y'all, this is so serious, y'all. This is so, so serious. Linus, this is so serious. If it's you know what? We're the type of people, we got a lot of talent. We got a lot of talent. But we gotta break that curse of jealousy. Even with black folks, they get They'll get jealous. Women will get jealous of women. Yes, they do. Will, women get jealous of women. They do. Men get jealous of women, and men get jealous of men. We got to break that curse. If you see somebody with a new car, they'll say, oh, yeah, that's all right, but my cousin got one. But you at a bus stop. We got to break. We have what we say. We made an image of God, y'all. This is the beginning that's finna sweep the whole country. The whole country. This is an experiment. They don't do Hollywood movies just to do Hollywood movies. They showing you the why they're gonna end up. The end result right now. Why did they? And it's kind of quiet that most of, they got funded for the. The long-term effect of the water, where they monitor the effect of not only kids, but grown folks as well. Why is that? To see the rate of cancer in this area, in this location. If it was something they was worried about fixing, it would be all hands on deck. If it had to happen in Grand Blanc, it would be fixed. Yeah. Matter of fact, out in Flushing, it is fixed. Because they did the KWA, I mean, not Flushing, uh, Flint Township, they, and Jeff Wright and them got the, they put their plant on, on Lloyd, ride down Linda Road at night if you want to. Oh, Lord. It should be against the law to, to have that thing cracked up. They need to put a muffler on that thing, uh, some deodorizer coming out of there or something. It ain't going to work. <laughs> ride down, you think I'm lying, ride down Linda Road at night. Unless we caught it on the wrong day. No, you didn't they had it, it up on, on super high. 
Whatever they was cooking, they were cooking it. Oui. Boy, let me just it, it just ugh. But long story short, y'all. They want what we got. They do. I looked inside. I can say a lot more than, than what I'm saying. I looked inside. Mm -hmm. They made a mistake. They gave away something they need back. You cannot make you cannot make more land. You cannot, I'm gonna repeat, you cannot make more land. You can build buildings. They already at they busting at the seams over here. Spotless. Downtown. Downtown Flint. Yes, sir. They busting at the seams. Yes, sir. They paint a picture because they play on the poor, they get the funding in, and then they reallocate the funding that's supposed to help you. I'm running so you can fix your house. I'm running because you need wheelchair ramps, some of y'all. You need windows. Your house is over 70, 80 years old. It need repair. I'm not scared to tell Margaret over Habitat, move some of them stipulations. What do we need to do to move these stipulations? Or come up with a program that people just grandfathered in to help them fix their house. What do we need to do? Watch this. Watch this. And they're already doing it. Kids ain't got no jobs. Why in the hell the only program that a boy could get is reentry after they go to the penitentiary? After they go. Do something to prevent After they them go to the penitentiary, they help them with a reentry program. They help them build houses. I'm a hundred percent for everybody being re-entered into the community. I'm 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 so into it that I feel like if you done did the time, expunge that mess off their record so they go to work. Period. But watch this. It ain't making no sense. No. All of this money came in from all over the world, the country, to help us for the water crisis. Why in the hell ain't none of these folks thought to train these black folks? Or boys and girls to do some of that work. General Motors, a car is a very, um, uh, it's technical, it's electronic, it's everything. Three days, you can work in a General Motors plant. They break you in. I break you in, I train you how to do this job. Right. Why ain't nobody training people to, to do infrastructure so they can make $30 or $40 an hour? We can't no longer make one or two people rich. We got to think about the whole generation. So this thing, because the whole United States infrastructure is failing right now, the roads and all. Yes, you could be a doctor and what, a lawyer, whatever, but in the meantime, like we did, we had an option to go to the shop to help us stay afloat and then go to the, the, the college in the evening. You should have an option to where you don't have to work two jobs with these kids and struggle. But then you put weed out here. Is it legal? Is it unlegal? Make your mind up. Alcohol is it legal or illegal? I ain't seen that on a test. You get red drunk and you go to the next day, you go to your job interview. Am I lying? No, you're not lying. Some of them get red drunk on their lunch hour. But they could go to work. But stuff that they know black folks done fell into, now just like with the, the opium, opium oil or whatever they want to call it, <laughs> it's a medical sickness now. But crack cocaine was criminal. How long we gonna keep buying okie doke, y'all? We got to stand up. We got to stand up for what's right. No longer will I be one of them yes Negroes. I never been one. No. And trust me, I talked to Deb Cherry. She the county treasurer. I'm a regular person. I'm not no council person yet. But they respect me. Yes, they do. I talk to y'all. Y'all respect me. Because you know what comes from the heart touches the heart. Pastor Flynn and them, they respect me. And I can speak from what they mirror and I shoot a snapshot. They care about you. Mayor Weaver, that girl crazy about us. Yes, and I use girl in a sense that I mean endearment, not a little girl. Because we got different terms. We ain't going to let them take our positive, turn it negative. Right. We talk to each other a little different. Yes, we do. When we close to somebody. Boy don't mean boy to us. That's my boy. 
I ain't going to let them turn out positive to negative. They done took too much from us as it is. We got to get it, y'all. We got to get it. We got to get it. Our election. Our election. I told you last week. Beverly, where is uh, Flint B? Jaquanda's paper. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. We know we, we got to keep our mayor. We got to keep our mayor. And tomorrow, uh, Jesse Jackson going to be in town at 5 or 5.30 over at McCree Theater over on Copner Road at New Standard School. It's going to be a rally. Get out to vote rally. 5 or 5.30. Just say 5. Just say 5. At 5 o'clock at, at McCree Theater. Theater, Jesse Jackson going to be in town. Jesse Jackson, and tell everybody you know, Jesse Jackson is in town tomorrow. And I'd like to thank, what's his name, verbally? Uh, the one I ran against, uh, my buddy. It's Battles. Uh, Valencia Battles and her family for their support. Thank you. People don't have to be nice. People don't have to be nice. I'm not playing games, y'all. My and Beverly endorsement, so I, people don't know. And you're free to say what you want to, but notice I look behind the scenes. Eric Mays got to have that first ward. I'm going to repeat, Eric Mays, First Ward. Me and Eric is like that. We need a tag team match down there that's going to help this North Bend like never before. Because they got special funding. Let me say this. They got special funding, Beverly, you know this, that they award to the North Side. Yes. $1.6 million to be exact. And and and, and bless, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Handy. Handy. For giving us 1.6 million a year. Most people don't know that. On the north side, and we ain't seen a dime. Everybody I tell them that. We haven't seen a dime. We ain't seen a dime. I told Mr. Handy, well, Mr. Handy, we really appreciate you, but the residents ain't seen a dime of that money. They don't see nothing. We don't know. They do at least $1.6 million a year donation to the north side. To the north side. Did y'all know that? Roof Mott. Handy Lindsay, Mr. Lindsay Handy. 1.6, 1.6, thank you, uh, uh, Ruth Mott and Mr. Lindsey Handy for that generous donation. But it's time for the residents to start getting their money. That's right. It's time for the residents to start seeing some home repair and other things that can help move the residents forward. That's right. We got a thing with Flint forward. But you got to understand, Flint means downtown Flint, Michigan. They're already forward. It's time now. We're getting off that list immediately of the poorest city in the nation. And we're coming to other cities as well because we're going to use us as a demonstration of how to fix that thing. Get them yes Negroes out the way. That's right. All over the country. Get up, get out the way. If you're a yes Negro, I don't care if you're in Mississippi, I lose that, I don't care where you're at. Get up out that chair. It's time for change. That don't mean you racist. We deserve better. There ain't no big eyes or little use. Shame to, to speak for your own people. Hidden agendas. Too many of them getting paid. And then got nothing else to apologize in my face. And still do the same thing. Mm-hmm. That's better if I'm lying. No. If y'all just don't know what I know, Lord help you, you don't know. I apologize. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. And still do the same thing. I don't play. I don't play. Mm-mm, mm-mm, They're mm-mm. not playing, so why should you? I'm not playing. Because we got people. I can't afford to win Tuesday. I can't afford to win Tuesday and come back just like everybody else. Oh, that won't happen. I can't afford that to That won't happen. Y'all, I'm giving you all I got. Eric May's first ward, second ward. I'm running to, 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 to flip that whole thing. We're trying to get a... a, a a tag team match in there that's going to upset the hen house. Upset master's house. Some people should be shamed, like you said. They should be. I'm running second ward. Second Maurice ward. Davis. The one they call the blues man. That's it. My good ties down to I handle some business. My good ties put down to I handle some business. And I think every musician out there understand they love their music, but I think they love their people a little bit more than their music. Because, watch this, 
Ain't a musician out there wouldn't be worth their salt if it wasn't for y'all. I'm going to repeat that thing. If you call yourself an artist, a blues artist, singer, whatever you are, the people the one made you. That's right. And you're going to tell me I'm going to put something over the people? No. No. The biggest performance I could do is get in there and put us back where we need now and we can enjoy each other. Without worrying of stress, how you're going to make it day to day. Is they going to take this? Is you going to get set out your house? Uh, can you pay your time? We got a job on our hand. A uh, third ward has got to be Santino Guerrero. Santino Guerrero, third ward. Santino Guerrero. Fourth ward has got to be, where my fourth ward, Beverly? Third. Oh, fourth ward going to be. They don't have him in there, but it's Michael Dones. Michael Dones. Michael Dones. Michael Dones. A nice young man, Michael Dones. Fifth Ward, none other than Jerry Winfrey Carter. Yes, she is Charles Winfrey's daughter. Charles Winfrey, one of the nicest men I ever met. He the one who had McCree Theater in not just a few years. Charles been doing that, that, that theater deal, I can't think how far back. One of the nicest men you ever met. But people want to throw you on the bus and then get scared and try to separate. No, we're going to educate this morning. And guess where it's located? On Cotton Road. You can't do nothing but respect people that's suffering like we're suffering on this north end at this time. We're suffering on this north end at this time. Jerry Carter Winfrey, Fifth Ward. And by the way, you can find more information on them. I'm not in it because at the time I didn't I didn't know my buddy like I know it's a flip beat voters guide. Uh, what's the name? Jaquanda. Jaquanda. Excellent articles on them. Excellent articles. Nice lady. And I'm gonna apologize again, Jaquanda, because I ain't no I just don't play. Okay, now fifth ward. We just did. I mean sixth ward. Okay. My buddy. My little short buddy, your little short buddy, <laughs> Chill Morgan. Chill Morgan. Nice as you ever want to be, educated, all of that. Chill Morgan. Heart for the people. people. Come back and tell me I'm lying. Heart for the people. Chill Morgan, sixth ward. Seventh ward, we're going with my buddy, Monica Galloway. Monica Galloway. Now, Kildee, when the Dan Kildee that stood up yeah, against her? Yeah. Hold up, Dad killed him, jumping in a, a city council race. And like Monica said on another station, how in the world you going to represent somebody as a, ain't he just a, a, a congressman statement or something? He high up in, the, in government now. Wait a minute, Dad killed him? Is it that important that they trying to move their agenda forward? Yes, it's important. It's important for him. Hello, AD. Hello, Beverly? Yes. Hi, Beverly. This is AD. I was just calling to check on me. Is he all right? Yeah, we on the radio. Oh, how did you know? Y'all could I can't see nothing. Girl, you better go get your, your dog on our uh, iPhone, the iPad. Get back on there. We good. We your on my radio. phone and cut us on. We on Facebook Live, girl. Thank you, AD. Okay, go go get get off this phone and cut us on your my phone. All right. All right, eighty. Wow. Thank you for we. If our signal drop, just know we're gonna repost soon as we fix it. That's my buddy. All y'all, my buddy. I don't I don't do that mess. Okay, we uh, was talking about uh, Dan Kildee. Dan Kildee is wrong. Jumping in against Monica Galloway, a council person. What? I'm trying to show y'all where it, it's not fair. It's not what fair. What they're doing is not fair. It's not fair. No, it's not. And I, and I want to show you this. They stick together. They what do. might work? They stick together. They stick together. I'm going to repeat. What you might? They stick together. Yeah. We don't. That's right. Find me one white person that's coming out against Scott Kincaid like us, against our black mayor, Karen Weaver. You won't find it. 
You won't find it. Find me mean one. Now, I didn't say two. One. You won't and, and have them post up there. We'll, we'll cut our mayor with all that she done done, all the accolades she done done, and talk about her. Yeah. Now, show me one white person that talk about Kincaid right now. Knowing all the dirt he did. You can find me probably 20 or talk about Arthur Woodson. 20 black folks. White folks and everything else. Because why? Well. Color the skin. You won't find me one. And when when somebody stand up like a, a Kildee, they respond. So we're going to respond. November 7th. That's right. We're going to respond. We're going to respond. Y'all going to find out. I don't waste time. I don't. Beverly, no, in a band setting, I never play. No. <clears throat> I never play. No. That's why y'all only see me so many times a year. I don't waste my time. I don't get mad if I loan somebody some money they don't pay me back. I get that. But I'll be doggone if you waste my time. And guess what? I don't waste yours. I ain't going to be hanging my head in my own city. I'm going to have everybody around here happy to live in Flint. Because you're going to know you got some fools fighting for you. And I mean fighting. And people listen. They respond. But we never was represented. Ain't that something to think about? Yeah, it is. We never was it represented. Is. It is. Monica Galloway, 7th Ward. 8th Ward, notice this. I'm going to say it again. My buddy. Joyce Ellis McNeil. That's right. Joyce Ellis McNeil. Well educated, school teacher, all of that. Well, I mean, rounded, friendly. Most of all, for you. That's right. Eighth Ward, Joyce Ellis McNeil. And Eva Worthing is the one for the Ninth Ward. Right. Eva Worthing. And the, and the guy that's a right in for the Ninth Ward. Um, Shelly is the one that said the people over at the Atherton Terrace are hopeless. Y'all. And then, I ain't crazy over that, that they got a school millage too. That where they want to eliminate from 9 to 7. Wait a minute. Let's think about that. I know they're trying to eliminate the north side and they want to drop that council down to 7. So they probably doing a test where they drop the board down to 7. My thing would say no. At this time, I wouldn't change nothing they doing. Because they duped us with that doggone charter. Yes, they did. I can't wait. If I get in there, you ain't got I'm fighting the first time I'm going to pull Eric. Come on. How, how can we mend this charter? What do I mean amend it? I don't want to see now violation on nobody on North Side unless they're going to come and help us repair our houses and structures. Development. Pastor Flynn, he want to do a beautiful work over there. That'll be our beginning. That's going to be our, our thing. We could say that's what we started right there. Yeah. We don't own nothing. We got to get back in the game of owning. You must do it. Quit teaching your kids. This is 2018. Yes, go to school if that's what you want to do. But teach them to start owning. Y'all start family businesses, please, ma'am, mister. Sell out your contract. I don't care what you do. You got to start owning your own business. What happened to the, all the girls doing nails? Huh? Think about that. Right. I remember when we used to go to seminars, the Chinese people coming. I ain't bad at them. But we are jealous of each other. And, and it was the nail castle. That was a, 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 a like a Chinese black girl salon. Because wasn't it all black girls in there? Yes. At the Nail Castle up on Cloud Road. Ooh, I, 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 every time somebody say Nail, Nail Castle. Nail Castle. Nail Castle. Now they go to Diane's. They go to here. They go to there. Look, it's time for us to stand up for each other. Where is them folks helping you to build your economy? They're not. Y'all can't do a taco house? I'm sorry. You can't cook a taco? And we can't support it? We got to get out the mentality. I'm just telling you what God loves, the truth. God bless the child that got his own. No, 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 no. We're going to turn some things around. But it's going to take people with backbone. 
It's funding out there. I'm the one to tell you. Bumper grant writer. It's funding out there. You don't have to be a good grant writer. It's funding out there. But it depends on who opening their mouth for you. It's all about who you know, not what you know. I need to repeat that. It's who you know, not what you know. That's who you know. That's how they get judged. That's why they want your mayor out of there. That's why they want your mayor out of there. This is opportunity. Money coming. It's coming. But they want to keep us impoverished it's and get coming. us O-U-T out of it's here. It's coming. And they can't have her in control. It's coming. The money is coming. We're going to hold everybody's feet to the fire, including mine. Because if they don't post every week, if I get in that chair, I'm going to post you their information as well as mine weekly. I think that's only fair to you. What I know and what I see, huh, I'm telling you. Whether it's good or bad, because see, the thing with that transparency lie, people say one thing until they get in there. I agree with you 100%, Winters. I keep telling him that you have what you say. So stop saying if you say when I get in there, what I'm going to do. All right, Winters. Y'all win. Y'all win. Y'all win. But Lord knows, Lord knows, Lord knows. I appreciate y'all with all I got. I appreciate y'all with all I got. But this is so important, y'all. I already know what I'm talking about. And I, I, I can't say, some things they tell you, people tell you in confidential. Uh, uh, they say, Maurice, don't say nothing about this, but this here is the real. And I'm talking about <laughs> not, not at the barber shop, not at the donut shop. I'm talking about. I know some things. We holding a good hand. They trying to snatch it. Yeah. If you think I'm lying, ask, ask uh, 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 what's the name over in the 7th Ward? Monica Galloway. They ain't killed him. They ain't killed him? Going against Monica and a, and a dog on council? Council election? You got something valuable, bud. Y'all that's living outside of Flint, like I tell people, keep us in your mouth. Y'all that's out there way down like uh, um, my buddy Wolf, her last name Wolf, she's a singer. Karen Wolf. Not Karen Wolf. Uh, uh, oh, man, I hope her name pop back up. Pop your name back. But anyway, keep us in your mouth. The whole United States needs to see this turnaround. Like uh, the mayor said, this is going to be a turnaround like you ain't never seen before. That's right. This is going to be a turnaround like you ain't never seen before. People are going to be coming back to Flint. People are going to be vacationing in Flint. But the problem is everybody going to enjoy it. Not, some, not a, a special few people. Everybody going to be invited to this party. Everybody. Everybody going to be invited. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to tell you one thing. Without y'all, we can't do it. Without y'all, we cannot do it. We, we is, cannot do it. Is it time for your show? We oh, cannot do it. We cannot do it without y'all. And I, have y'all noticed this? With all of the negative ass they running against Mary Cam Weaver, you ain't never seen no run down against them? That lady got a lot of class and character, bro. Yeah, she is. She does. When we go talk to her, she ain't never went over there and negative. She Because she's so busy working and getting stuff she's done. working for the people. She trying to get it done. You, y'all, I don't ad lib. Y'all don't know. I'm giving you behind the scenes. It, at that special conference, the chief, and man, wow, security. Let me let me tell y'all this. I was at the press conference yesterday, where Chief Johnson, yes, with the new intel, not intel like the computer intel, but it's intelligence. I'm I'm gathering. So, y'all criminals, <laughs> your days is numbered. Chief Johnson said, "Look, before they even call the police, they'll be able to respond." That's right. And he meant it. Just like the mayor said at a press conference. They can't stop you from committing a crime. But just know this. You will be caught. You will. You will be caught. Like they talking all these missing women, missing this, missing that. You will be caught. Safety is always a priority. And that's why I'm so frustrated. Even though they're talking about people missing... You want to strip the mayor with no security? And she's a female? One of y'all right now, Winners, uh, uh, Derek, Brenda Board, do y'all think the mayor should have somebody to protect her? 
And we was at an event at 9 o'clock at night at or something. And the mayor was there. By herself. No she's security. there. At all of these events, she's there. She was the one downtown last night with uh, uh, my buddy and them, uh, uh, Wolf and them son, uh, uh, Tyler and them. Uh, yeah, at, at that uh, Ferris wheel. Okay. The mayor is there. The mayor hit the floor running, bud. The mayor went the floor running. The mayor is running for us. Right. But it's just a shame that they would hit so low. Brenda Boyd said, yes, all the other mayors did have security. They did. Absolutely right. Now, how disrespectful is that? It's very disrespectful. Ray Tyler's, right. She was at Ray Tyler's thing, yeah. woofing them son. Okay. She there. But that's the problem. She for us. She for us. She ain't racist. Because they don't come, is, is that make it racist? They used to us being included. You know, we're not that. We are a different race of people. We are a smart, talented race of people, but people don't want you to know that. People don't want you to know no, that. No, they don't. And Chill, you got that thing. Chill Morgan was down there. She was at the press conference. Chill Morgan doing her thing. Yes, she is. But the thing with it is, I'm sitting here to expose truth. Expose truth. I'm not here to slander. You don't see right now, if you, most times you hear me say, Arthur Woodson, this is a positive light. Because I don't like how they mistreated him. But that's what they do. He the one brought it about. Right, but now it became about not Arthur Woodson. It came about, and he's running for mayor, by the way. But it became about Scott, Scott Kincaid. Kincaid. They're pushing the golden one. Even the It's Pfeiffer, about Scott Kincaid. The Pfeiffer guy said that they got on him when he ran and told him that he's um, defeating their purpose of trying to push the golden one. Yeah. But like I said, a lot don't care who tell it. We get wrong every, not sometimes, every time we get wrong. And mainly by us. The worst is boss you can have sometimes is another black person over you. We got to break that curse. God ain't got us under a curse. We have what we say. We have what we say. But we got to break that curse. What is called? Jealousy. That's what it is. Jealousy. I don't need to stand on you to make myself taller. I don't need, because I know what's coming up, coming down. Make my words sweet, because I know one day I'm going to have to eat them. I'm going to have to eat them. So will you. Yeah. I'm going to have to eat them, y'all. I'm going to have to eat them. But we got to help people get on their feet. This election here, this is what my receipt. Now I'm, I'm gonna go on the positive side. We got a few moments. Election coming November seventh. We got the like I told Mister uh, 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 at the at the um, roof, my Lindsey Handy. We got our own stuff. Number one, uh, we got to talk to people about training these kids. We got to talk to people about getting them in the infrastructure. That don't mean you you not being an attorney or lawyer or whatever you. Your, your career path leads you. But for a sustainable right now income, everybody in Flint, Michigan should be tied to this infrastructure repair for real money. Why? Real money coming. And the whole country going to have to have people that know how to do it. If you don't watch it, Gore Yetnam be the only one with J.W. Stevenson, hopefully, going to Detroit, Winnersville, Saginaw, or Watso. Uh, uh, Mississippi, losing because it's the whole country need that work. We should be on the leading edge of teaching young folks a new skill of infrastructure so they can make them some real pocket change. $30, $40 an hour, not chop change. Where at 18, we was able to go to the shop, buy a house, car, and have a little credit and buy a bond or two and do a little stuff we wanted to do. It's not fair for people that's going to college can't do it. We, why, what is the benefit of graduating high school if nothing's going to happen? We can't call ourselves some call, so-called middle class when it's, you're not a college-educated person because you went to the shop. you just high school. Some of us, I don't think, really had high school. You could do it with a GED or whatever. But first of all, we got to make the thing fair. All of these fines and violations that they're putting on kids, driver responsibility, the list goes on. 
what you do when you're young, like I showed earlier. How right is this for when people running for office, mayor, council, whatever, and I, and the only thing they want to see bias, talking about what second chance is you out your mind? Second chance. Now, would you ever find a newsprint anywhere in the country with that and all every one of them black? talking about convicted felons and on and on second chance as a headline in the election. How is that going to help you win something? Explain that to me. And you the news print. Another thing. I was at the news conference at the police department. I've been at a whole bunch of news conferences where people spell out in detail what they're doing in their plans. Mm -hmm. But then, when it comes across broadcast, the, the, the doggone the, the news commentator want to do the talking, they do a, a two-second clip of you, and then they go back to her. In other words, she'll monologue it for you. Why have a news conference? Or somebody going to speak for me? If I do a news press release, I think you should play what I said, not what you said that I said. There you go. Am I making it plain? Yes. Like when they did the mayor's thing over there. You didn't hear nothing what nobody said. The camera went wham, right to Scott Kincaid. Nobody else. And How is that is fair? If you're going to play it, get an uh, hour segment that you're going to play the whole event That's and right. let people sit there and watch it. That's right. That would be a press. But yet, no. Scott Kincaid did that and then, and then put piecemeal on what you said don't even make sense. Don't even right. And then think that's fair. It's not fair. It's a lot of things got to be called out. Press is one of them. What y'all scared of? You only got one guy. You only got one God. That's why people confuse now. Air crazy, air crazy. They showed a picture. Arthur Woodson, he helped me. Uh, 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 Jackie Poplar said, I don't want to slip his head. Say it, Shut the F up. That's what she said. At a press conference. At a press conference. Shut the F up. Representing. And that said, Mr. President, like y'all would do, you going to let her tell me shut the F up? And you going to say something? They ain't acknowledged he nothing that man said. And then after that, some white guy jumped up back in the back. You're a freaking fool. You just a fool. And then another one. And Eric said, I'm a man first. But watch this. Over the news, they just showed Eric jumping up with no audio. Nope, yeah. And then and they got to the part where I held Eric back. Why? To present him as a fool. That's it. And Arthur Woodson had to go and detain the other two back there clowning. And Eric Study said, call the police. You think they called him? No. Ask, tell me I'm lying. They want to paint the picture. Tell me I'm they lying. They want to paint it. But for. see, the thing with this is this. God love the truth. You got to watch it. I don't put spins on it. And then what really got me teed off when it was over. Watch this. Eric talked to the newsman. They blew past him like he wasn't even standing there. They took all of their cameras and ran all of their mics. Guess where they ran them to? Scott Kincaid. Scott Kincaid. Scott, and I mean, they was diligent. Scott this, Scott that, Scott this, Scott Kincaid, Scott Kincaid. Wait a minute. A 32-year councilman who's done nothing. Kerry Nelson is the president of the council. This man is a doggone council member like everybody sitting up there. Scott Kincaid, Scott Kincaid, Scott Kincaid. Media. Not Kerry Nelson, not nobody up there. Scott Kincaid. Media is biased. And Eric, that's why I had to pull out my phone. I just went Facebook Live. But yet, y'all, I'm going to have to do Facebook Live to get representation fair. 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 A lie don't care who tell it. A lie is more believable than the truth. A lie is more believable than the truth, y'all. They paint pictures of us. Like that movie was not fair. It wasn't fair. If it was any way kind of fair, you're going to tell me any kind of way. And I know why they didn't shoot in Flint. You know why? Because where it happened, it was too dangerous for the actors. It was too dangerous for them to come to shoot it where it really happened at. Think I'm lying. Candy coat that uh, uh, Hollywood or whoever lifetime. But you're going to tell our story and shoot a picture here and there, segments of Flint. Because we sold off as pit bull and animals. Enough is enough. 
And it ain't your age. They still like car doors when I walk in. I can have all the suits on I want. They still going to call their kids. Come here, Morgan. Come here, so-and-so. Come here. Like, I want your kid. I can't feed my own, but I want yours. Am I lying? No. Y'all, it's hard. It's hard. And, and I know the ones on Facebook Live, all of y'all, I see y'all every week. I thank you. 80, but the truth is so hard. Only thing I think for us to win, and when I say win, I ain't talking about no election. I'm talking about get back on our feet. It was that we start educating ourselves. God first. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. If you don't go back to who created everything, we done. Ain't nothing I say worth salt. God, in the beginning, God. And then what did he do? He created. We done jumped out of that and became to what man said, Satan said. God created Satan. No, he didn't. He created Lucifer, which was an angel. Lucifer was an angel, a beautiful angel. Then became a fallen angel. Why? He didn't do nothing in heaven. He raised up in his heart pride. He wasn't in no choir. It was his pride. And right today, what is it? Man's pride. And he's a spirit. And the spirit used me, you, or anybody else. And that's where we at. Spiritual warfare. America is in a spiritual warfare. And you're going to be dead a lot longer than you are alive. We got a choice to make. We got a choice to make, y'all. We got a choice to make. This is a spiritual warfare. How do you know when you line yourself up with God, when you line yourself up with God? The Bible says these days, perilous times going to come. Now you don't no longer acknowledge him as a God. I ain't got no right in me. Neither these folks you voting for. But if you want to test them, test them according to the word. Test them according to the word. Hello. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Hey, make sure you tell people where they can find out where they vote at. Okay, I will, Brenda. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was Brenda Boyd right there. Beverly, she said, remind them where they can vote at. Okay. Um, if this is second ward... Well, just is it a number? It's a, no, no, it's just a whole list of voting polls, and they're and they're. Well, tell them Monday to go call the. Well, the they can clerk. go. They can go now to the city clerk's office. That's what She's I'm saying. Open until two today. Yeah, to two o'clock. You can go now, and and you can find out where you vote at. But um, um, there's a there's a lot of precincts, and I'll just throw oh, out a couple. Oh, Brenda, thank you. And also, I went down there when we had our meeting the other day, Thursday. They training on new machines, y'all. Scary to me. They they got they told me they brand new computerized machines. Voting machines. Voting machines. So I hope. <laughs> I don't know what that could mean. They got brand new machines, y'all. So we know what that could mean or it couldn't mean. We don't know. But I know one thing. I ain't I don't put nothing against trickery. Me either. I don't put nothing against trickery, y'all. But one thing I will say is this. We are godly people. We are a godly people. We used to be a godless nation. But we are a godly people. God got a remnant of people. If not, this thing will wrap up today. Just like they had the lie going on the internet. I'm going to show y'all. And this is, a, this is a part of it. This is where the Satanists might tune out, but tune out if you have to. All week, you ain't heard about where there's supposed to be a blackout. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, the computer's supposed to shut down. Everything, all your iPads, phones, and everything going to go down. A lie don't care who tell it. Only one can control this world. He got all the patience in the world. Is God. The God said, trust how many men? None. 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 Satan time is short. Satan lead y'all by fear. By 
fear. When Trump become president, I'm going to Canada. When Trump do this, I'm doing that. God use whoever he wants you to hurt me. And I, then I heard uh, uh, Jack Bob call me a Republican. Lord help. They actually call I'm the somebody. brokest Republican I ever seen. Right. Beware of the lies. What I'm trying to tell you is this. God use whoever he wants to. Don't never let nobody fool you. God got to obey us. We obey him. If he wanted to use Trump, use him. Who is we to, to choose who you want? You understand? This is, did I say in the beginning, God? Let me say it again. In the beginning, God, what did God do? Create Trump. Created you and me for a purpose. And guess what God's purpose is? Pastor Flynn, correct me, please, if you ever get this video. God's purpose was for us to be for his good purpose and do his will. For us to do his will. God don't obey us. Do y'all know what blessed mean? Let me spell that out for you right now. So you won't be duped another day. Revelation chapter 1 and 3. Blessed is he that read the words of this prophet and keep the words that's written in the because the time is at hand. Blessed is he or she. You know what that means? Happy. Bless me happy. Bless me peace. Beyond all what? Understanding. When all hell break loose, you still at peace. It don't mean no doggone house, car, big building, big cathedral. None of that. God don't use none of this. Matter of fact, it's iniquity to God. Anything you can touch, smell, feel, and see is temporary. I just told you, everything in God is spiritual. Spiritual. Give me a station ID and a disclaimer, please. Get your disclaimer, Maurice. And everything I said, this is WFOV 92.1 LPFM Flint, located on the beautiful campus of University Avenue. And we are a the, public service of uh, Flint, Flint House, House, House Incorporated. Jump. I just want to, Finish my to say that. <laughs> we are a public service of Flint Odyssey And uh, Spectacle Production. And we are produced by Spectacle Production. Go ahead. General Manager Paul Herring. This is WFOV. And everything you hear today is not of, of the Flint Odyssey House, not of uh, uh, WFOV, not a Spectacle Production, not even a Beverly right here. Uh -huh. It's a Maurice and Maurice Councilman D. Davis alone. There you go, boy. Brenda there Boyd. you go. There you Councilman go, Davis. There you go. Brenda Boyd. There you go. There you go. I mean, Winus. <laughs> Was that Winus? I don't know. Boy. Well, whichever, both of y'all. <laughs> y'all, we all we got, y'all. We all we got. We all we got. I got to give my, my, my own uh, uh, endorsement again before we get out of here. Okay, and just one second. Uh, we got to get out the way. For people that want to know where they vote, where their polling area is, yes, you can call it. the City Election Division or Clerk's Office at 766-7414. 766-7414. And, that, and th they can tell you where you go to vote. All right, thank y'all. Eric DeMaze, we're probably coming on special Tuesday. Ward 1. Ward 1. No, Eric, we will. It Eric will be DeMaze, Monday. we got to get out the way. Monday night, we should come Okay, on. well, okay. Um, Eric, Ward my, 1 is This Eric is my Mays. endorsement. I endorse it. Okay, Ward 1, Eric, Eric Mays. Ward, Ward 2, Maurice Davis. Maurice Davis. Davis. Ward 3, Santino Guerrero. Ward 4, Michael Dones. Michael Dones. Ward 5, Jerry Winfrey Carter. My endorsement, Ward 6, Chido De Morgan. Ward 7, uh, Galloway. Ward, yep. Uh, yep. Monica, Monica Galloway. Galloway. Ward 8, Joyce Ellis McNeil. McNeil. Ward 9, Eva Worthing. And that's and our, for the mayor of the city of Flint. <laughs> drum roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, 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 hold up, hold up. Where you get tired? I wish I had one. <laughs> the mayor of the city of Flint, Mayor Karen Weaver. Boy, y'all the best in the world. Don't let nobody do this. Don't be scared to share this. Paul, thank you for allowing us to be here in Spectacle Production. And let me tell you something. They want what we got. We own the something. Don't give it to us. We're going to show the world what a turnaround look like. Boy, I'm out of here. I just, I'm just out of here. Okay. I'm just. Stop. Man, thank y'all. We, we, right. we gone. We, we, we just. Thank y'all. Y'all the best for putting up with us. Thank you. We'll see y'all uh, Monday. Bye-bye.
Mm-hmm. Okay.